today I want to show you a, about a five minute sequence of how to work your shoulders. These are mobility exercises that you can do before any type of physical activities, especially if you're gonna be working your shoulders a lot, like throwing um, or lifting, pressing. It may be beneficial for you to work on the shoulders before, or if you just have a shoulder injury, these are really good to do daily. So what you need is a strap or a PCB pipe. These are super cheap. You can get a long one for a couple of bucks at a Home Depot, and then we cut it into two and you get a nice length like this. They both work. The strap might be a little bit more versatile if you do yoga, that can be used as a prop. So having your hands on the strap or the pipe, arms are straight, you come up. This is called the shoulder flossing, and you just press back as far as you feel there's any tension, then you'll hold here for a little bit and continue to pull the bar away from one another, your hands from one another. And then maybe you can go back a little bit more, but we're gonna go slow. We're not moving through really fast. So inhale, we'll go up. And exhale, we lower, inhale, rise, exhale, lower. So we'll do 10 of these. And of course, if you feel there's a more tension at any position that you're pulling through, when you're pulling through, then you're just stop and then kind of work on that position. For me, this is pretty tight here. So I'm holding and I work. Go. Then we'll go to sideways, same thing back. Try to keep those arms as straight as you can when you move through this. So don't be afraid to go wider if you need to. And you can do this standing up as well. Okay, then let's go to the other side. Three more, so five per side. And of course you can do more. I actually like to have this strap on my shoulder. This way I can set up my shoulder rotations into the proper position when I move there. I place my arms out to the side. The side, the arm that's going back and down, I flip the thumb down so there's the internal rotation and I reach back. The top, uh, the arm that's going up, it's going to be facing up and go back. So the thumbs are now pointing down. And we'll grab onto, now turn around. So we grab onto the strap and we just continue to walk the hands towards one another. Some, some people might have worked to the point where the fingers can come towards one another, then you don't need the strap. But using a strap is a really good way to help you get there. And remember to keep the neck in line with your spine. Sometimes people will feel, oh, I need to look down. You don't have to do that. So if you need to look down, trying to push the fingers together, it is better to have the fingers slightly apart and look forward and continue to work the fingers on the strap towards one another to keep the alignment that's more important. And we'll hold here for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then we'll slowly release. And then we'll go to the other side. So same thing, the side that's going back and down, thumbs pointing up, internal rotation of the shoulder girdle, coming back. The other hand, thumbs point up, Okay, and then grabbing onto the strap or towards hooking the fingers. Heads looking forward, high. And we'll hold for 30 seconds to a minute and continue to work the elbows inwards. And breathe, don't forget to breathe. And then we'll relax. 
So you'll take a band, a short band. You'll have one hand as an anchor on top of the wall. Then the next hand will inhale and exhale, move up. Touch as far as you can go, come back to center. And then exhale, go to the side. Inhale, come back slowly. And exhale, go down diagonally. Inhale, come back, exhale up. Inhale, come back. So you're doing this on a wall. I just want to show you. So I'm doing this. So do five to 10 reps of these. Then we go to the other side once you're done. Okay, keep the other hand anchored on the wall. Exhale, we go out. Inhale, slowly come back in. So when we're doing strengthening exercise, the tempo is important. The eccentric motion, which is this coming back motion, is really helping you to build the muscles that's needed. Okay, there you go. So we'll do five to 10 of those. Okay, and then here's the next one. You'll need a long band. Any type of long band will do. And there's three parts of this. The first part will have the arms on the band at a good tension and exhale will open up. Keeping the arm as straight as you can, inhale, slowly come back. Exhale, open. Squeeze the shoulder blades together behind you. Inhale, come back. Feel the shoulder blades come away from one another. In exhale and inhale. So we'll do 10 of those. Then once you've done 10, we're going to the next part, which is working the shoulders diagonally. So I'll have the arms straight out and noticing how I'm pointing my thumbs out. We'll inhale, exhale, we open, straightening the bend, keeping the elbow straight, inhale, slowly come back. This is work when you come back slowly. So just breathe. We'll do five to 10 reps. And adjusting the resistance on the bend when necessary. So maybe the first few reps, you're having a tighter grip, a shorter grip on the bend. And then as you progress, if your shoulders are getting really tired, then you go give you a little bit more slack. So we'll do five to 10 here. And you can do this standing too, we're seated. seated. Okay, then we go to the other side. So five to 10. Okay, so that's a short sequence you can do before you start any activities. And that's gonna help your shoulders to stay strong or if you have injuries, those are good ways of rehab your shoulders. And always start with the minimal weight and work to strengthen the muscles and add on.